Wow. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, I'm just a little couple of couple seconds late uh, starting here tonight because I was talking to all my buddies I got in the green room. Got a hell of a lineup tonight for you guys. Um, I got to tell you, you know, as always, I got Mr. William Bailey, Mr. Booyah William Bailey. Um, you know, he's always good for a chuckle. Uh, the guy teases me constantly. And then I've got uh, the only guy I think that teases me more than him on tonight, Mr. Freddie Valente. Um, you know, Freddie, uh, he did a video about the girls of paintball. And I got to tell you, it is really, really good. If you guys haven't seen it, pull that damn thing up. Uh, like I tell everybody, you know, Freddie's the one that got me going in this sport. And uh, I just love the little guy. So he's uh, he's pretty cool. And, we're, you know, we're, and we're going to talk about uh, the big box of Cheetos he got from a gentleman named Hill, one of Bill's friends. Um, hey, Paul Farrell. Good evening to you, buddy. Uh, hey, Connor. Connor from Down Under in Australia is watching us. What a great guy. And Mr. Robert Hansen. Well, I love it when you guys' names come up. I, you know, I, I can see who we're talking to. Um, you know, usually I, I get hit with the Facebook user. And uh, then also, I'm going to have Mr. Brad Gruitt. Um, Brad's a great guy. I've, uh, I met Brad when I first came back in. Brad had me on his show, uh, Paintball Therapy, but um, he couldn't help me. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, Brad is uh, doing something very, very cool. He is, he is working on sponsorship outside of the paintball community. Because, um, you know, anything that happens like that, guys, it's going to make our... Uh, it's going to make everything a lot, lot bigger. It really is. Nice push shirt, Fred Schultz. Hey, Mark Gong. Yeah, you, you know, everybody, I, I keep, I mean, I get all kinds of comments, and I absolutely love it from you people, but I sure like to have the names. It'd be cool as hell. Um, but anyhow, um, well, we're going to move on from there. So, anyhow, I already told you who I've got on tonight, and I'm, we're going to probably have Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Uh, Uncle Kevin's probably jump on a little later on here. And, uh, you know, I got some upcoming shows, too. Um, I want to real quick give a shout out to those. Uh, we're going to have the National Paintball Police League on here um, with Andy Sturett. Uh Andy's going to set that up here in the next couple of weeks. And we're going to have them guys on. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty cool. And then I'm going to have the Booney Boys back on here pretty soon. Love the Booney Boys. Those guys were a great, great show. Um they're just cool as hell. And Jonathan Rulin, hello to you, buddy. Um, you know, I take the time, just a second, just to mention these people that chime in because they're taking time to watch the show. And uh, I, I just want them to know that I appreciate that very, very much. And, I, and I'm going to give a shout out real quick. Um, uh, you know, Heath, I hope I pronounced Hawken. I, I hope I got that right because, you know, um, like Freddie Valenti calls me the name butcher. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> That, that's why I tease him so much is because he is always, always into me. Um, hey, Tracy Perez. How you doing, sweetheart? I'll talk about you in just a little bit. Um, anyhow, uh, Heath Hawken is having a super game, and it's up in Oregon. It's going to be April 30th, May 1st, and 2nd. And now Heath has made these <clears throat> really, really cool charms. Um Hey, matter of fact, I think I'm going to put it up on my site on Flagpole Productions so you can pull it up and check them babies out. But anyhow, he's having a giveaway. You have to take and get on. Um, it's called SuperGameCharm at gmail.com. And you can get on there and uh, go ahead and uh, register your name. You don't have to go to the game. If, if you can't make the game, you know, take a look at this charm. He has really put some time into it, and it's very, very cool. Good evening, Mr. Thompson. Jeff Thompson, up. Can 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 Canadian way. Um, one of the Booney Boys, too, that I'm going to have on. And Jeff was on with the Booney Boys last time. And like I say, it's just an absolutely terrific show. I, I just absolutely love it. And uh, then I, I want to also mention, like I always do, Mr. John Amadea. John did the history of paintball. And he, he really, really did a good job. Um, I was very, very impressed with it when I got it. And if you get a chance, you know, get get the six-hour version. Um, you know, what it does is, it, you know, I, of course, you got to pay for it. But the point being is it helps John do more for paintball and, and get more information about paintball out there. 
So real quick, I'm going to give my shout outs before I bring my guests on here. I start always start with Tim Schloss. I've talked to Tim like three times today. Uh, Tim's putting a whole bunch of pictures out of us back in England. Tim used to have Tiger Stripe camo back in the day, and uh, now he has Gateway Paintball, as Tim would say, 10 miles from the St. Louis airport. So, And it's a hell of a field. Uh, Bud Orr and uh, Bill Bailey went there a few months ago, and they said it was absolutely great. And, and he's been working on it ever since then, so pretty cool. Then I got to say hi to Dan Colby. Um, used to be Air America. Where am I at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it behind me. And uh, now he's Immortal Air. Um, Dan is a, not only a great friend, his products are just absolutely terrific. Uh, he he really works at hard at everything he puts out, and he stands behind it. He's a just a great guy. And then I always mention Bud Orr, but I'm going to say Bud Orr for just a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to come back to Bud Orr. Uh, so I'm going to move on now to Tom K. Tom K. Airgun Designs. Uh, just a, a great person and a great sponsor that I had for many, many years. Terrific. And Rainy and Juby Boucher. Uh, Rainy and Juby Boucher had paintball news. Two times a month, they would put out the papers uh, free to, to the players. Just, I mean, anything you needed to know about paintball was in that damn newspaper. Believe me. Games coming up. Games that just happened. Where the fields are. What, you know, just everything. New regulations. New equipment. New everything. They were just the bomb. And they sent me a couple of hardcore um, books. God, these books are about this big. I drag them out, but they're just huge. And they've got each one. I've got 96 and 97 to two years. And, and it's got each one of them. They're this thick of all the newspapers that came out that year. Each and every page. They're just incredible. Uh, I just love it. And then Randy Camilla. Randy Camilla used to be the editor for APG Magazine. Uh, Randy, um, very good friend of mine. Randy gave me my, my first of many cover shots on a magazine. And uh, just a terrific guy. And he was so good for paintball, too. Um, just love the guy. And Ran just uh, Jerry Braun coming up here. Jerry, Paintball Sports Magazine. Just a, a hell of a guy. Uh, we're going to have Uncle Kevin Donaldson on tonight. You know, um, Kevin's a, a good friend of mine. And he's uh, the head of the Master Blasters back there in, in New York. And uh, anyhow, he uh, they've had a show on Fox. So uh, we're going to be bringing Kevin up here a little bit later in the show to talk about that. Because uh, the show was such a success, I guess Fox is going to sign him up to do another series, which I'm happy as hell for. And then Gino, Gino from Belkin. Now, I always say Gino from Belkin because I butcher his last name severely. Uh, Gino knows I love the guy. He's uh, Gino is a terrific person with a great store. And, you know, Gino doesn't pay me to say this, guys. The reason I say this is I see behind the scenes that a lot of you guys don't see what Gino really does for the sport of paintball. He does a hell of a lot. And, um, you know, just even mentioning his name one time to me is weak. I think that the guy should be mentioned probably every 10 minutes through the whole damn show because he just does that much for the sport of paintball. And uh, and, and he's a terrific person. You know, he's a, a very caring person and he helps a lot of people out. He really, really does. And then I also want to mention Mr. Jim Lively. Jim Lively used to have Lively Productions. He had the Masters in Tennessee. So if you go back and you played paintball, and you played professional paintball, and you don't know about the Masters, ah, pretty pretty good chance you didn't play professional paintball. Because I got to tell you, he was, uh, he just had a great, great series back there. And I used to love to go. I mean, when the Masters would come up, my whole family, everybody get excited, man, because, you know, we just couldn't wait to get on the damn plane and get back there. Because it, it wasn't so much, it was like a family gathering of everybody, including all the teams and the people that would go there. It, it was just, uh, it was absolutely cool. That's all I can say. And then I have to say hello to a newcomer and my little buddy, Mr. Mark Gong Jr. Uh, Mark Gong Jr., he's seven years old, going on eight years old, uh, going on 20 years old. I mean, you should see this kid. He goes out and he practices with the OG Ironman, and he was in his first little paintball tournament last weekend, and I guess they did pretty darn good. Um, I just... Uh, I'm excited about that. You know, I'm one person. The reason I do this show, everybody, is to try to bring people together. The more people we bring together and work together, the bigger the sport's going to end up being in the future. And, you know, 
I'm an old guy, you know, so us old guys aren't going to be around forever. So, you know, we need kids like this to, uh, to jump in and, and take over for us. And Mark Gong, who used to play on Constant Pursuit, which now plays on the OG Ironman, um, is not only uh, one of my old teammates, but a terrific, terrific person. And he is raising his two sons now. They're both playing uh, paintball. Um, he's, he's just doing it the way that you would actually want anybody to portray the sport of paintball. So he's doing a great job. Now I have to go back to Mr. Bud Orr, okay? The reason I skipped over him, it's not because I wanted to. It's because I have to take just a minute to talk about Bud Orr. Bud Orr, everybody knows Bud Orr. He needs no introduction uh, from me or anybody else. Bud Orr has done so much over the course of so many years for the sport of paintball. He has helped, like Gino, has so many people, sponsored so many teams, and is just an all-around one hell of a guy, period. Well, I was lucky enough to uh, have Bud and his wife, Kathy, uh, invite my wife, Sharon, and I down there uh, this weekend. So we were down at Bud's this weekend. And uh, I got to tell you, it I mean, I, I call it his house, but it was his complex. <laughs> it just absolutely is. Matter of fact, you know, I get back home. I pull in my driveway. I get out of my truck. I'd look at my house and I dropped to my knees and start crying for 10 minutes. Thank God my neighbors come over, picked me up and took me in the house. You know, I, I mean, the, the guy's place is just fabulous. And, and this is one of the coolest guys that you will ever, ever want to meet. You want to talk about a person that, that you can talk to for five minutes and just feel like you've known the guy for a hundred years. He is just uh, unbelievable. Now, I have to show you this, and I'm not saying this because I got this. This was a total surprise for me. I'm saying this because everybody knows I just love Bud Orr. Bud Orr is, uh, he's just a great person. And and all you people out there that know him, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Anyhow, he presented me with this. Will you take a look at that? Is that not gorgeous? And... That's not the good part. He signed it for me. Is that not an absolutely beautiful marker? I was absolutely speechless, man. You know, I, everybody go, hey, man, you got tears running down. I goes, no, no, I'm sweating. That's all. But it was probably tears. That is just an, and this is probably the only time I'll take it out of the box to show it because he actually gave it to me in the box and signed it to Fred the Man But Orr. Well, I don't think Fred is nowhere near the man that But Orr is. Um, I can, like I say, I can just never say enough about the guy. He is uh, an absolutely terrific person and i can't thank uh, him and his wife kathy uh, they treated my wife and i just fabulous when we were down there i absolutely loved it so um yeah I, this gun is so cool you know i, I my wife slept on the couch last night because i slept with the gun she says no more threesomes with paintball guns that's it it's done so anyhow so it's got to go back in the box tonight because she wants to get back in the bedroom. So I, I, you know what? I, I, I don't have a problem with that. It's pretty cool. And Andrew Telford said, sweet. Yeah, you're talking about what I just said or the gun. Okay. Anyhow. So anyhow, without uh, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by bringing on one of the guys that teases the heck out of me all the time. I'm going to keep Cheeto Man. And everybody knows who Cheeto Man is. Anyhow, I'm going to keep him for just a little bit. Um, Boom. Mr. <laughs> William Bailey. How you doing, Hello. Billy? Hey, how's it going? Oh, that, it's going pretty good, man. Yeah, that's I think, that's I think an my awesome, throat strike. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's an awesome marker. Yes, it is. Oh my god, is that beautiful? Yeah. Look at but, that. Yeah. I I think you read the box wrong though. I said I think it said to Fred from the man but or. But it could have been. That might it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, it could go either way, huh? 
Yeah, I think it could. Guys, Just Dan, depends I don't, on feel, I, I don't feel as special as I did a minute and a half ago. <laughs> it was good seeing you tonight, Bill. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh. oh my god okay so who you got sitting next to you tonight billy uh, this is uh hal haggard he's, he's he's my partner in crime so uh he uh -oh. helped me he, yeah he helps me run the field and everything down here and and uh we're just hanging out tonight yeah he's not the one that uh was with the tracy press auction thing is he yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that tracy press is watching us right now tracy the gentleman that uh, bought, in, well, not the first raffle, but in the actual au auction, um, this is a gentleman that bought the mag and everything else uh, that went with it. Uh, matter of fact, he's wearing uh, one of the shirts I sent him, too. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, Thank you. Um, so, yeah, nice shirt Steve McGuire said. Now, why would yeah. Steve McGuire say that's a nice shirt? <laughs> I have to work on that, seeing that he's part of the company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Stevie? Yeah. It, it was so, funny. For like the last week and a half, you know, packages keep coming in, and I, I keep calling Hal, like, uh, Hal, you got more stuff in. He's like, well, how much stuff did I win? <laughs> I, I have no clue. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did he, yeah. Hal, did he give you any of those meat sticks, or did he hoard them all? No, he, he gave me a half of one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He shared it with me. Yeah, I, I needed his opinion. I, I want to make sure it wasn't too spicy for him. Yeah, well, you know what's funny is I wouldn't have thought he got that much from. <laughs> <you know? laughs> hey, Tra Tracy Perez is is the one that we did the uh, um, the auction for hell, and uh, yeah. she just said thank you very much. You're welcome, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy's a, a great person. Tracy got me into the the push goggles and uh i just love it she says thank you sir and uh you know what i i will call you sir too because you deserve it for jumping in and helping us out with that that was uh absolutely outstanding buddy it really really was come from a long line of non-breathers yeah <laughs> with a lot of lung problems in my family and it just is that right yeah yeah and, and you know that's I, I can't even imagine. That just absolutely has to be miserable. And, and Tracy just says she loves you guys. So very, very cool. Yeah, Tracy's cool. You know, I just met Tracy for the first time, um, actually just a few months ago, when uh, Gino from Belkin got a hold of me and asked me, he told me about Tracy and asked me if I, you know, I'd do something for her. And I said, well, let me talk to her. So I talked to her. And hell, I talked to her for five minutes, man. And I knew I was going to do something for this lady. She was cool as hell. So... Then I dragged Billy into it and um, <laughs> <laughs> kicking and screaming. Now Billy dove right in with me and uh, man, it turned out, it turned out pretty good. We had two different things for her. We had the raffle, which was, <laughs> that was a job by itself. And then, then we had the auction at the end and that's the one that uh, you went and got hell. Um, and you know what? I can't tell you enough how much we all appreciate it. Not just from Tracy, but also from myself and all the people in the paintball community that have watched all of this. And uh, it just it just goes to show that when we all stick together, what we can all do together. And I just think it's absolutely great. So I just I just, I just hope the mail got everybody their stuff because that was like 50 prizes almost. Oh, yeah, I know it. Yep. And, and you know, the mail. You know, it's funny, too, because, you know, I, you got your shirt something like three days after Dan Colby got his, and I sent Dan's out the same day yours went out. Yeah. So, I'm, I don't know. I'm still waiting for stuff that's, it was three-day priority, and it's been over 13 days so far. So Yeah, yep, absolutely right. Well, yeah, Tracy says, together we are paintball strong. Well, absolutely, sweetie. Well, speaking of strong, I'm going to bring up a strong-smelling Cheeto kind of guy. Um, um, Does he have orange hands? He will. He will. There he is right there. You know, I'll be honest with you. That's the best you have ever looked. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, everybody, this is Mr. Freddie Valente, uh, a.k.a. You can call me, you can call me Cheeto, Cheeto, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're breaking out with them. I know. <laughs> well, you, know what? you know what? To tell you the truth, I, I I don't know. I mean, you know, I only got a couple of them here and there. I mean, 
Seriously? Real quick story behind us, everybody. Hal, the gentleman sitting next to uh, uh, Billy up there, is the one that sent them to Freddie, right? Well, Freddie gets yep. the box, and, and he calls me up, and he goes, uh, he goes, Fred, I just got a big box, man. And it, they said, they said it was to be delivered to Freddy Cheeto Valente. He goes, you know anything about this? And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't know nothing about it, man. And yeah. and he goes, well, what do you think I should do? And I go, well, I think you should open it. So he's opening it, right? And all of a sudden he goes, oh my God, it's a whole box of Cheetos. And I go, oh my God, they did send that Cheeto bomb. And you should have heard him. And he, I heard stuff ruffling on the other end and I'm over here just cracking up. So... Right now, Freddie, couldn't happen to a better guy. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, anyhow. There's, there's like 75 cheeto, bags of Cheetos in here. I mean. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's I, a lot. Hell, I hope you counted them before you sent them, because <laughs> my guess is there's no 75 in there now. <laughs> Not anymore. I, 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 I don't know. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, let me wipe the yeah, the orange off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, look, and there's orange. There's orange on there. There is orange, man. So, hey, your uh, video you put out, the girls of paintball. Yes, it's great. It's great, boy. It was a Thank hit, you. man. I mean, um, you you hit on all eight cylinders when you did that. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, what I did was I put it. Uh, I put it up on YouTube and it's got almost 1200 views, um, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, and today I decided to throw it up on Facebook, uh, tonight, just like maybe an hour before the show mm -hmm. and it's already got like almost 400 views. Oh yeah. It's so, going to get a lot more. Oh yeah. On Facebook, on Facebook, it, it always seems to, to go further for my videos than, than YouTube. So, but I need to get my YouTube channel going. I need to, to do something with it. So I need to get as many subscribers as I can so I can go live on, on YouTube because unfortunately they say, Oh, you have to have a thousand subscribers to go live, which I don't, I have like 825 subscribers. How many relatives you got? <laughs> I'm just a thought. Hey, go ahead. Keep on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, the more the more subscribers I get, the better the better I can uh, put out more content and, and go live on that. And, but right on. But Very yeah, I cool. post, so I posted up on the Facebook page. Um, I also did a second video, which was the uh, uh, the Invincibles paintball game mm -hmm. uh, f uh, field that I went to um, and did their little. Uh, airball field, which is not very little, it's pretty awesome. It and, is, I've uh, seen it, yeah. But so, so, I did that, and that, that'll be up on my page. This is already up on YouTube, it'll be on my page probably in the next couple of days. Yeah, that's the one that you filmed. Uh, I mean, you filmed the actual field a couple of weeks ago, and uh, yeah, I, I would did a live video on that, and then uh, yeah. I went back, back on that. Well, it was actually that same day, uh, I actually was filming uh, the, the airballers. And I'm going back this weekend <clears throat> and get the drone up and and maybe give, make a little commercial for them. Oh, mm. cool. Right on. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I know I know that was a hit. Uh, I told you the minute you told me that you were going to do that, the girls at Paintball, I knew that thing was going to take off. I didn't think it was going to take off uh, like a gazillion women, but uh, it took <laughs> off pretty darn good. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, it was. Uh, I I applaud you. That was really really what, good. Did you get any dates off it? <laughs> no, no dates. Nobody good. wants to date good. me. Good. Um, good. But here's. But the funny thing is, um, I didn't think I was going to get that many photos. Oh, I knew but, you would. So oh my when god. I, when I when I asked <laughs> for the photos and video clips, um, next you know it just. I mean, well you, you you know I got bombarded. I got over I five, it. over five hundred photos. You know, for so, some reason, I get a lot of your your little things too. I think as because we were connected to start with. So yeah, you connected on the Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but still, it's you know. <laughs> yeah, I do. Hey, real quick, uh, you know, uh, Bud Orr, Mr. Bud Orr, and Mr. Dan Colby are all uh, both watching us tonight too. Um, so uh, 
I just thought I'd pass that along. You know, those two guys like you, Freddie. Well, I like you know, hey, hey, oh, hey, it cost me a lot, but I said, you got to like this guy. <laughs> they said, all right. Yeah, hey, you know, hey, I, 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 I'm I, here for you. Come on. You know that. <laughs> you know. Thank you, Neb, for subscribing. I, I appreciate that. Oh, Neb is a great guy. Neb Nilla? Yep. Neb, you know, Neb Nilla has been watching the show since it started uh, way back yeah. in the day when you and I were together and, and pounding it out with Kiko and uh, Neb Nilla has just been uh, a terrific, terrific person. Really, really has. And it's I think good. Marky Gong's watching too. You, you love Marky Gong. I know that. The slider. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or the tripper or the fumble or the faller or. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you, you see how is. it works. This, this is how it works, everybody. I wanted to say all that, but I didn't want to hurt Mark's feelings. So all I got to do is throw his name to Freddie, and there we got it. But you're right, Freddie. Absolutely. Good job. Sorry, Mark. Hey, that's a good thing. I'm all sorry. Yeah, yeah. You don't say you're sorry when you're laughing, buddy. Come on. Oh, am I still on camera? Oh, hold on. Hey, where's the camera? There we go. Yeah. Oh, man, I got a big orange spot on the screen now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right there. Oh, uh, Kathy Alvarez says hi, Leprechaun. I know she's not talking about me. <laughs> oh, so she tall. is. Yeah. So tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how many phone books you got under you? Uh, <laughs> our little secret. Why do you think you moved yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry. Thick there. I didn't mean that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? You know, in the in the uh, the women of paintball video, Kathy's standing next to this 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 woman, um, really ugly woman. Kind of looks like you, Fred. And um, <laughs> I resemble that remark. I, I resent that remark. <laughs> yeah, well, you resemble the remark. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're you're actually in the women of paintball. I am. I, yes, as a really ugly woman. So, All right. All right. <laughs> See, if, I'd, if I'd have known you were going to put it in there, I'd have shaved my legs. Oh, God. <laughs> no? Uh, I, mean, I know. Not, I, not, I, now I, he's going to hit me with the joke. I've seen better legs on a coffee table. No, no. I, I got it. I got it. I got a whole, whole box of them. You know, yeah. well, well, we've got um, uh, Brad Gruitt sitting in the wings here. Brad is uh, going to work on. He has been working on bringing outside sponsorship into the sport of paintball, which I think is outstanding. And uh, so we're going to bring him up here in just a minute. And then I'm going to bring up Mr. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Kevin Donaldson, nice. as we call him. Because, you know, Kev uh, just did a terrific show um, that was on the Fox Sports Network. And they're going to do another one on him. Period. Now, um, you know, and if you, you know, get out there and watch the first one. If you haven't watched it already, you're going to want to watch it because it is definitely worth watching. You know, Kevin came across really, really good uh, in his speech and the way he talked about it. And uh, I, I couldn't understand all the bleeps in it, but, you know, um, I, I guess there was a reason for it. But it was an absolutely terrific show. I was, uh, and for paintball, you know, people that, people that, probably don't play paintball, probably watch this and go, I want to get out there and do that. So um, I don't know if they want to get out there and have Kevin in their butt, but they definitely want to get out there and do it. Okay, that, uh, that, kind of, that kind of sounded off. They yeah, it, it, it did. They their butt. Yeah. They, but you know, to you, Fred. Have you, have you watched it yet? No, I haven't. Well, <laughs> there you go. Well, he hasn't watched yours either. So. <laughs> 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 no, I watched it. I, I actually watched it uh, a couple of times because, you know, each time I watched, I pick up something different on it. And uh, it was great. I, I mean, when, we'll let Kevin talk about it because they're going to pick Kevin up again and do it again. So, I, well, they're going to pick the whole team up. That's just nice. Kevin. Um, uh, but uh, we're going to bring Kevin on here in about 10 minutes and uh, let him talk about it. But right now, please welcome to the show, Mr. Brad Gruitt. Brad, hello guys. How hey, are Brad. you? Well, you know we've had Brad on before, and Brad's already told us how he got into paintball. So what I want Brad to tell us now is I, he's been telling me he's working on getting sponsorship outside of paintball in here, and uh, that is something I think is great because anything to make the sport grow, I'm all for. Period. So Brad, give us a little bit of a rundown what you got going on there, buddy. <clears throat> well. 
it's really been kind of a passion of mine since the mid nineties when people would ask, where am I going? And I'd say, I'm going to a paintball tournament and they're like ping pong pinball. I've heard that um, a million times. You know, yeah. it was the yeah. common, it was the common mistakes that people would hear and it wasn't really uh, resonating with people the way that, uh, you know, of course, as an industry, we would like it to. Right. So, um, you know, I, I slowly but surely got more and more comfortable with corporate America and realized some of the partnerships that um, if you were smart, you would start to uh, explore. And uh, I started doing that uh, quite a few months ago, actually. It started... Um, about six to eight months ago. And uh, I targeted companies that I thought would be perfect even with COVID, um, things that would uh, players would respond to and uh, pretty much pitched some ideas to some of the executives. And uh, here we are. <laughs> well, what are, what are some of the products? What are some of the products that, uh, you know, you had to contact companies, obviously. Um, maybe you could tell us some of the companies you contacted. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Without without question. Um, I would I would be remiss if I didn't. I would, um, so. I, would <laughs> I would start with probably with one of the sweetest, which is Albanese Candy. Um, Albanese is uh, a USA company. They make uh, all the gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy oh, nice. everything, Shark. peach rings, all of all of all that. Um, did you see Freddie try to reach through the screen? Right, right. <laughs> hey, did you see what Neb wrote? Neb wrote the Cheeto cup and the meat stick open. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you, go. <laughs> you keep adding, keep adding to that. So yeah. Albanese is has been around for a long time, and it's one of those um, – um, uh, like cornerstone American companies that I have some other projects that will be coming out very shortly, but uh, that large companies needed really to benefit from. Right. Uh, so that's how I started in with Albany's and then it was just really reciprocal. And when uh, people found out that I was working with them, they'd reach, reach out to me. I've had a couple of, uh, <clears throat> You know, people who own companies say, hey, I want to include them with Me the too. things that I sell. And I I think that that's great. I do. And too. You um, know, that's that's kind of how it works when you get something going like that, because, you know, everybody, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> everybody wants to work with the winner. <laughs> and now everybody's going to start eating here. <laughs> I right, love it. Right, <laughs> See right. what you've done. You've made everybody hungry. So your, your companies <laughs> out there that are watching you, Brad, got to be very proud of you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so and I what, have only begun. That's, it, that's the, um, that's the amazing thing is the reason why I wanted to start with Albanese is because I think that that's going to be the first very large, very involved uh, company with paintball. Uh, sure. When I was talking to uh, the VP of the company, he was basically saying, you know, what do you see? What could <clears throat> Albany's as a company do for paintball as an industry? Right. I'm not saying that I, you know, represent paintball by any stretch of the imagination but that's why i have friends that i confide in and i talk to um to see you know kind of the ideas that i'm bouncing off right. um another company that is not necessarily um down the vein of candy is called honey stinger um it's a Co colorado company and it's more uh, for the performance athletes. What this is, is this is just a very thin 
uh, waffle, all natural, uh, very, very low uh, glycemic index uh, because of the actual Colorado honey. Um, but this I've been giving uh, people throughout the industry and they absolutely love these waffles. They're fantastic. You can put like seven or eight in your bag and be good for the weekend. Um, the other... Another that, that's basically like a sports drink, uh, like an energy thing. Yep. Yep. They have, they actually have chews. Um, Transfuse has been doing a fantastic job in the industry. Right. With, I know about them. Yep. With the <laughs> drinks and everything. So I've kind of stayed away from that because most of the people, I mean, once it's great, you know, let it go, let it rip the way right. that it is. Yeah. Um, another quick thing is Hex Performance. Um, Hex is actually a detergent that's made for the type of materials that we as players use. The pads, the, the neoprenes, the tight woven stuff. It's, it's a very thin formula that basically disinfects everything. Uh, a friend of mine that I gave some to used it on his dog bed. And he said the dog bed never smelt better uh, than using, you know, that product. So I wanted to give, you know, I, I've been doing, dealing with these companies for months now. Um, mm -hmm. Some made the cut, some didn't make the cut. Right. But I want to make sure that people know, um, just like the people who have been at events that the henchmen have attended, um, we give out free stuff. Like, literally, we walk in and we hand out candy, we hand out nut rolls, we hand out things because this is what the industry needs, this is what the company wants, this is the interaction. Right. Um, well, well you, know, you know, companies aren't stupid. You know, if, if they don't see some kind of future in, in working with you and working with Paintball, they're not going to do it because, you know, a, a company is a company there to make money. For not only for the people that work there, but their stockholders or whatever's going on. So, you know, I, I've done stuff like this in the past, as you know, and um, right. you know, like with the TV shows and stuff like that. And when you go in, the first thing they ask you is, that's great. Now I know what I can do for you. What can you do for our company? So did that question come up? <sighs> Take that as a no. I, I, <laughs> I go about it a little bit differently. I create, I create the interest. Mm -hmm. I Very say good. what it is that I can possibly do to affect the business. I mean, right. Albany's from a candy perspective, they have customers. It's a multi-gajillion dollar company. They're yep. killing it during COVID. You, you right. follow me what I'm saying? They're not, they're not hurting. Absolutely. That's not the, that's not the same <clears throat> as the small companies like Honey Stinger that's, you know, a handful of people who love the product that are trying to build a company. Mm -hmm. I'm working with all of them and trying to work with all of them. And the big thing is, is doing it all together. I right. mean, as an industry, because right. again, this isn't for me. This is for what I see, you know, down the line, Albany's coming out with a bag for specifically for paintball right. that directs right. people to, you know, paintball fields in your area, not my right. area, not just me. This yep. isn't just my team thing. This is an industry thing. Well, and I'm, that's, I've got to tell you, I'm interested in that honey waffle thing. That thing sounds of course like it are. would be, it, it just sounds like it'd be something great when you're out there playing and you need a boost for the next game or something. Now, you know, you wolf down one of them babies and get back out there and shoot some paint. I have been sent 500 waffles, um, not even a month ago. Wow. And I have not given any one person more than 20. And... 
I'm out as of what's left on my desk which I'm saving for you guys because, again, I knew that I had to take care of you guys, but, of course, you will be taken care of. But oh, I, I, well, I Fred wants his, Yeah, Fred definitely wants his wallet. <clears throat> I, yeah, I don't yeah, know if they come in Cheeto flavor, though. Yeah, yeah Freddie. So. Oh, yeah. I got to tell you, that, that, that waffle thing. Yeah, well, hey, you brought it on yourself. I told you that before the show. But, you know, that waffle thing has definitely got my interest. You know, yeah. I, I like the gummy bears. I'll start there. So that's cool. Right. But and the detergent thing, I think, is really great. You know, probably that's the next case that Freddie's going to get. Um, but anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, the waffle thing to me really has drawn some interest. Now, yes. I think. I think something like that because it's it's not an intrusive package. It's a small pack. Correct. It probably takes excellent. I mean, I love honey, so it, that's a, a, an easy it's thing. It's not to too sweet. It's got mm -hmm. a great texture. It's a little bit chewy. Um, you can talk to Kevin about it because, in all honesty, um, one of the first things because I saw, I was probably one of the first in lines to see. Uh, the Master Blaster show, I wanted to make sure that since they are doing something out of the industry, that I send them something because I want to help push them as well. So well, they got they got a care package directly from Honey Stinger. And I'll let Kevin he he's I'll let Kevin talk about it. But again, if if anybody needs help, if anybody is interested in any of the companies that you've seen, I'm completely reachable uh, by Facebook. Uh, go to the henchmanpb.com for the team. Uh, we have all of it there. It's not all in stock now. We have it coming. Um, but again, we give free samples. We do everything because it's not about the money it's right. about well, but they can, the exposure they can contact you also directly right absolutely i'm yeah. 24 7 and, and and any other companies or people that work for somebody any other company out there that thinks that they could jump right in here and you know eventually work good with paintball because you know the more stuff that you get involved like brad's trying to do right now it's only going to make the sport more viable and grow period correct so let's drag. First of all, I want to say hi to Thomas Gee. Thomas is a, a great guy. You know him, Billy, right? Yep. Hey, Tom. Yeah, great, great guy. Um, so, what do you say? Let's bring in Uncle Kevin. Everybody, <clears throat> Mr. Kevin, Uncle Kevin Donaldson, Bear what Man. Up? What Where's up, everybody? The bear? Hey, Brad. The bear? I knew I was going to be the first <laughs> damn thing. There you go, right on. There's my there's a waffle. There's a honey stinger waffle. These things are freaking awesome. I, I can't wait to get one now. You know, I'm I'm the last guy to get anything. So, hey, <laughs> best for uh, last. Save the best for last. <laughs> no, I mean yeah. these things. Oh, you're such a schmoozer. I mean, he, even tried, he even tried to get syphilis and it wouldn't even go to a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Brad sent Brad sent me. Brad sent me a, a care package of these things. And we were at practice two weeks ago, and I put them out at the tent. And the guys just love these, everything. You know, the, the, the bars, the gummies, the smoothie drinks. But these waffles are amazing. These things yeah, are amazing. The, that's the one thing that really caught my interest because, it, like I say, it's so intrusive to take out. It's still in the pack. Right. Yeah, yep. it, it, very, very easy. So, yep. so you like them, huh, Kev? Oh, my God. Freddie, I mean, I'm not just saying it. They are awesome. And they're healthy. You know, we got Dave Cilio on the team, and uh, <laughs> he's a you know he's a he's a personal trainer, and he he's a you beast. Know, he only eats like really good shit, and he analyzed like the ingredients and said these things are great, and even he ate them. You know, hey, so hey, I eat good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that crap. Okay. That shit. What? <laughs> hey, I, got, I, I, I got a couple more here. I'll send you a care package. No, Freddie. Uh -oh. Get some, get, oh. get some of these waffles. Get some of these waffles. You'll throw the Cheetos away. Trust me. They're what you unbelievable. Got there, Billy? Well, it, it, was a, it was a trophy I got from Viper. Uh, I, I generaled a game down in Texas a long time ago. and uh, But, yeah, they, they actually signed that. That's all got knives. Those are all knives, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I asked you about that one time, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, this thing's pretty massive. But uh well, you can, but yeah, Dave you can Silly will sign that. Yeah. <laughs> Do what? I said you could slice waffles with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, everybody that messed with it at that game got cut. Really? They all <laughs> kept dinking with it and I told them not to, and they're like, Oh shit, I'm stabbed. Okay. <laughs> hey, George Contreras just chimed in too, buddy. Hey George, how you doing this evening? So, real quick, Kev, um, you know, I, I uh, was telling everybody about your first show. Um, I watched it uh, probably three times now, actually. And uh, I, I noticed stuff each time different in it. But I thought you came across great. I thought the show was put together very well by Fox. Uh, because, you know, in anything like that, you can get great footage. And if you got a, a, a lousy guy cutting it together, it sucks. Um, but uh, they did a great job all the way around, and you and the Blasters both did a great job. Now, I understand you got another one that, that they want to do another one? Oh, yeah. I found out on Friday that we're going to be shooting the next show, probably starting in April. And uh, I got to figure out what event we're going to go to, you know, what we're going to go to with, with the team this time. So Yeah, that was my next yes, question. Yes, <laughs> yes. We're, we're, we're on our way to our second show and hopefully many more. It was really a very successful show on Fox. It you know, was, yeah. Were, well, well I, I pushed it, and I, I watched it. I pushed it before I watched it, but, you know, I do that because I trust you. You know that. And But then I watched it, and I thought, oh, man, this is just great. Hey, and, and, yeah, you really? came across great, too. How'd they make you look younger, though? What the hell was that all about? No, that, that's the way I really look, you know. Oh, right. and you <laughs> just know an old Fox, man. Fox, I Fox love still it. still an old Fox man. Fox out good stuff. Fox was... I mean, they put out one of the greatest shows of all time. I'm talking about Married with Children. I, I was mean, just going to say that. I swear to God. Yeah, I yeah, love I mean, Married with Children. Yeah, Al Bundy is a I can God. relate. Totally. He's a God. No, <laughs> they, the, the, team, the team from Fox really did an amazing job. Like, they, I, don't know, I don't know how they put together those games to make them, you know, in that show to make them look like. I mean, I, you know, those are multiple cameras, yet they got, you know. Yeah. They did a really, really good job in the woods, you know. It well, it was just interesting. Thing. Yeah, it was just interesting. You know, the the whole show, Kev, it, 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 you know, it kept your attention. It, it didn't have a dull spot where you felt like going and having a sandwich and then missing the rest of the show. It kept my attention the entire show. You mean well, you know, it's funny, it's funny you say that, Freddie, because the show, you know, apparently the show was watched for the entire 53 minutes by the majority of people it was very unusual that they would have that anybody would have a show where people tuned in and didn't turn it off right you know which was one which was one of the one of the things that they had mentioned it's that the people actually watched the show from beginning to end you know, no commercials so, you know, but it held their interest which is really what got their what got everybody's attention but Maybe we got a really great great response from people outside the paintball industry, which is exactly what we were going for. Yep. Go ahead, In fact, since the show, since the show, I've been getting private messages from people where to play, you know, how do they get involved in the game? Yeah, I, I know, mean, I know really, all about really, that. It's been really, really good. Really <laughs> what were you going to say, Billy? I was going to say, maybe they were using it for a drinking game and every time they heard a beep, they would take a drink. There was yeah. no beep. There were no, the, the, the no, show he, was not censored. Yeah, you did it pretty <laughs> only, good. There, only, yeah. the pro, only, only the promos were censored. Put the, oh. put but the Dan show, the disclaimer, yeah. the disclaimer in the front beginning of the show was pretty funny when I first saw it. You know, and it was, you know, it was, uh, you know, a lot more profanity than usual. You yeah. Know? So, so like <laughs> I hide your shows than usual, <laughs> and then to show a little picture of you after that. <laughs> and that was nothing. That was nothing. They, you know. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect sure. when you get a bunch of New York paintballers? Come on. Hey, Anybody hey, that's ever played less. against us knows what we're like. Nothing. Shit. Nothing less. Well, you know why I liked the show was just exactly what you said. You know, when I did my show, that was the whole deal behind it was to bring people that didn't play paintball get them interested enough to want to go out to the field and give it a shot. See, and that's the whole thing I do now, you know, just like all you guys sitting on the screen right now, bringing all you guys together, talking about numerous different things to show the food, the Cheeto man, you know, Bill and them. We're all talking about different things, but we're trying to get it all together so people can relate to paintball itself and and you know people are going to go wow that was pretty cool what kevin said that's pretty cool what brad said that's pretty cool what freddie said pretty cool what bill said you know and 
if they don't like three out of four of us, who cares? They like the other guy. It's enough to make them want to watch more paintball and do more paintball stuff. And just like Brad's food there, you know, having that out, that is, I think, is a great little, yeah. and it's a great little commercial you did too, Brad. I love it. Um, <laughs> kudos to you, my man. <laughs> and, then, and then on top of it, bring an Uncle Kevin that's already munching on some of his stuff. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So good pull on that one, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Oh. No problem. I'm telling oh. you, man, the things are good. They're really yeah, I, good. I'm no shit. I was, I was surprised because I was a little skeptical at first, as you know, right? we talked about it. Yeah. yeah. I when you were saying, hey, you know, I think this would be good for the team. And I'm like, yeah, let me see the shit first. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, I, I can't wait to try that waffle, man. You know, if yeah. nothing else, Brad, just take and rub it on a postcard, just to smooth it on a postcard <laughs> and send it to me. <laughs> And I'll like okay, you know, I'm not begging or anything. It just you, know. oh, you, don't, you don't have to worry about it, Fred. You got them coming. <laughs> right on. Kevin's bear hasn't ripped him up yet. Right. Yeah. Oh, Ke yeah. Kevin, I got to tell you no. that that no, damn honey. bear has got so much mileage you cannot believe it. <laughs> Especially with Bill. Bill Bill never never stops talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, not, not just not yeah. just with Bill. People that, that get a hold of me, they haven't seen you on the show in a while. First of all, they go, hey, why the hell haven't you had Kevin on? I go, well, you know, Kevin's been busy, man. And they go, well, we want Kevin on. And what about the bear? And I just crack up. Kevin, you know, Kevin the bear. You do, you do one thing. One thing. And they don't, they don't forget. They don't let that down. I mean, seriously. One thing. Yeah, <laughs> and you have a box of Cheetos showing up at your freaking house. I know, yeah. Freddie, but you know, you did that one thing six shows in a row. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Man, he gets on. He's got a, a orange stripe handprint on his shirt like this. Yeah. I tell you, that's going to be my new logo. It's going to be the Freddy the Ref logo with the with the orange hand going across it. There you go. <laughs> Steve McGuire may take issue with that. You know what? That's I, what I, I said don't last care. I'll I fight said Steve. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a new one for I'll, Steve. Hey, it's a piece you know of bacon. I'll, I'll, eat, I'll eat some. going to be a headband. I'll eat biscuits and gravy right in front of him. <laughs> you know, I'll real quick, if Tom Gee is still watching, how are you, Tom? It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, Tom's a good guy. Actually, you know, Bill went down to uh, see Tim Schloss uh, a few weeks ago. And you got you went out to dinner with uh, Tom Gee yeah. and, and uh, Tim Oh, and really? Him, right? Tom was down there? Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah. Yep. One yep. of the Tell nicest guys in paintball right there, Mr. Yeah. Gee. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Tell us about it, Billy. Uh, we went to uh, we went to a place called Fast Eddie's there. Uh, it's it's actually in, in uh, Alton, Illinois. Yeah, and who it, owns that? Eddie Dobner from uh, USI? Wasn't he Fast Eddie? Uh, no, this is the actual <laughs> Fast Eddie, the pool player. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, uh, but uh, it's really neat because there's multiple buildings and uh, they didn't have enough room in the one building, so they end up buying the street, the actual street that went between the buildings, and then then bought the other building, and then they put a big awning over the damn thing. So they've got it's the whole street with the signs and everything still there, and they've got a live band, and I, it, the place is awesome. You know, well, you know but, what's uh, funny is Bill and I were just talking because you know Tim Schlaff is a big Waffle House guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it got to be the Waffle House, right? Yeah, I like I like steak and shake there, but uh, you know he's got to have the Waffle House. Yeah, you, you you buy shrimp by the plate, you know, peel and eat shrimp, and then while you're eating that, they cook your food, and you can get pork kebabs, steak kebabs, chicken kebabs, fries, burgers, whatever you want. You know, they just make it and call your number, and you go up there and get it. It's the place is awesome. It's good food. Yep. Yeah, you guys were all smiling pretty good when you were doing it. Yeah. Did they have any beer? What was, what was I want to know. Did they have down there? What was Eat the it, past he... Eddie's? <laughs> oh. No, no, I didn't. I, you know, I, you know, I, last I knew, he was living in New York, so you know. No, he, he was visiting Tim. Oh, I, okay. I, think, I think he had some business in St. Louis, and you know, we just found out we were all going to be together. So I was like, "Let's go!" So we had oh, only cool. three hours. Yeah, hey, so. yeah, he just chimed in. Kevin says, "I am well, Kevin. You look good." Excellent, excellent, Tom. Yeah. Glad to hear it. <laughs> right on. Yeah, he's a he's a very very good person. I, awesome you know, and, guy. Awesome yeah, guy. Look look at the people we got watching the show. Kevin, Dan Colby's watching it. Bud Or, Fanny. Thomas Key, Neb oh. Noah. I mean, we have got some terrific people that watch this show. You know, and that's why I brought you know I, I brought Brad on. You know, not just because Brad's a nice guy and I like him, 
um, which, <laughs> actually I do, which I actually do. But, you know, to help him push his, his products because he has been working so very hard on this. And, and I know I know what it's like to work hard on something. And, you know, you got you to gotta climb all them damn hills. And I got to tell you, sometimes you get to the last hill and you just don't know if you want to look on the other side or not. So, but you're doing a, a hell of a job, buddy. You really, really are. He really Thank is. You. You and know? it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a team effort. And, you know, Kevin and I, we, we all, you know, started now it's a little bit, probably over a year ago, you know, doing this and it's, it's, it's growing steam and we're all going in different directions, but we still have that common thread of helping each other. And that's, that's the most important thing for me. And that's why I reached out to Kevin. That's why, of course, you know, Fred, you're involved as well. Is It's just the right people, the right situation. It just takes care of itself. And yeah. I believe that that's where we're at. Yeah, you can't go wrong when you get Kevin on board. That's for sure. Um, and, and hey, Kev, Kev uh, yeah, I know you can, but I'm lying for you. Uh, but anyhow... Um, uh, Tom, Thomas Geese says, yeah, he still does live in New York, though. Okay. So, right. so he's just down there. You know, everybody goes and hangs out with Schloss. Matter of fact, whenever this show is over, as soon as, yeah, I know it, uh, Billy's laughing. As soon as the show is over, Schloss calls me. First thing he does, oh, oh, great show. Oh, oh, Freddie, that was really good. Oh, oh, the guests were terrific. <laughs> Send me some of those waffles. I want a waffle, Freddie. Can you give me a waffle? Get together, Freddie. We're gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go down and see Tim in the in the very near future. Because well, when, uh, when you go down there, you let me know, and I'll meet you down there because we were supposed I, to do this I think a while back. Have but... to because you know we've got some really big news coming down. You know, in, in a couple of weeks about you know a tournament series, our tournaments. You know, the Woods Ball World Series events that we're you doing. Know all about so. it. Yep. You know, and of course you're involved in that, like me yep. and several others. So uh, yep. I need to talk to Tim about possibly having an event at his field. So, well, let Tim, me know when you go watching, down there. Get in touch with us. Yeah, let me know when you go down there. You know, uh, Tim put a bunch of pictures of us at Lord Harry's Castle out there today, and and yeah, I and, saw and, him. yeah I saw. and yeah, you know that sword? Did you see the one where I was sitting there and Lord Harry was talking about the sword right there? Yeah. That sword, there was only two admirals back in the day um, in the British Navy. When the, when the British Navy ruled the world, there was only two admirals, and his <laughs> great-great-grandfather was one of them. And that sword that, that he was showing me and holding me, a, a, that he was holding, was uh, the sword that his grandfather had. Oh, wow. Hey, you guys, you, you, guys want to, you guys want to talk to somebody here real quick? Yeah. Oh, 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 who's this? <laughs> Mr. Tim Schloss. Timmy. <laughs> oh, see, I told you, Brad, he wants the waffles. Yeah. <laughs> They're awesome. I'm not kidding. Oh, man, yeah, they look pretty good. How you doing one, this evening, buddy? One, two, come on. Come on. Just uh, taking it all in. Tell uh, Tell Kevin I'll fly you guys both down. We'll spend some time walking the walking the place. Oh yeah. See if we can make it work. Yeah, as soon as you're for sure it's warm, I'll be there. <laughs> well, I can handle uh, sixty, but once it goes underneath there. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, tell Tim. Tell Tim I'm in. I just had to I had to say so say hi to everybody. I still owe Brad I owe Brad big. He brought my racing motor down. I never talked to Bill Bailey, tell him to give me a call once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That that sounds good, but hey, I want you to cheer up a little, though, huh? <laughs> I got my grandkids in and I have a good waffle house tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right on, Timmy. Stay safe, brother. Bye bye. <laughs> Everybody, that was Mr. Tim Schloss. You know, now, you know, when I tell people I'm blessed, look at the people who watch this damn show. But or Dan Colby, Tim Schloss, Thomas Key, you know, Tracy Perez, George Contreras, you know, Kathy Alvarez, Mark Gong. I mean, I I am truly, truly blessed when I say that I appreciate these people that watch this show. It's just absolutely great. But, you know, look at the guests I got on. Look at you guys, you know, um, even you, Freddie. I mean, all you guys are. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, so next, oh, next there time, you go. Next time you have technical oh. difficulties, <laughs> I'm just going to go, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, this show's turned into the Food Network. Everybody on here is eating <laughs> <I'm> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm eating my waffle. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, got my pretty wife sitting here. Honey stinger waffles. <laughs> go, go make me something. <laughs> <laughs> There's a waffle. Rob, 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 thank you, Rob. You see that? Rob says he only watches because of me. Uh, I love it. Well, you know what, guys? Uh, we kind of blew by our hour, but I got to tell you guys, it has been a treat to have each and every one of you guys on here tonight. Uh, I honestly mean it. Kevin, been a long time since you've been on, what, six yes, weeks? Sir. Yes, it has. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but Kevin, you know, you're welcome on any time. All you got to do is say, hey, put me on. I don't give a damn who's on. Just let me get on and mess with him. And Thank and you're you. on, buddy. That's no Thank problem. You. And, Kevin, I, I want to tell you, I think what you're doing for paintball is great. I, now, I know Thank you've you. worked hard for paintball for a lot of years, you know, with the blasters and and the, the World Cup. You know, you guys, the refing and everything that you guys have done and, and made a – I mean, just made a great, great job. Did a great job for absolutely all of that and, and made paintball that much better. I think you're doing terrific right now, pal. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate that coming now, from you. Now, well, you know, now we got to go see Tim because, you know, Tim yes. said he'll fly us out there. So, no, yeah, I we're, need we're, to see him. It's really, it really is important because, you know, I definitely want to do an event in St. Louis. Well, let's just do it. Let's get it. Let's get a hold of him and go do it. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. So we'll go down and we'll talk to him. Of course, yeah. you're involved, Fred, you know, yeah. because you'll be doing the West Coast event for us. So, yep. Well, yeah, well, but I'll well, go I down know, there before just I go, said... Before I go, I, you know, I don't want to change the subject, but I want to talk about the show. Like sure. all you people out there right now, Fox Nation is running a free month. So you don't even have to pay the 99 cents if you go right now and you can watch the show. I mean, I'd appreciate it. It would help paintball. Um, and, uh, you know, you'll be set up for the next show because we won't be doing the history in the next show. It's going to be a lot more about other people too, other teams, other players. Um, we're going to take it to the next level. So, you know, do us all a favor, do paintball a favor and just, you know, go watch the show. Yeah, that sounds good. Definitely. Well, Kevin, I want to thank you a lot for coming on tonight, buddy. Fred, thanks for having me guys. You know, Brad, I'll talk to you. Freddie V good to see you, dude. Billy, hey, Kevin. Yep. Till next time, brother. All right, everybody. That oh, was heck yeah. yeah. Kevin Donaldson of the Master Blasters, a uh, terrific guy. Um, got to show him not like Kevin says. You know, jump on Fox Station. You know, give these guys <clears throat> give these guys a shot because every time we do that, what we do the. You know, it's not making the blasters, uh, you know, movie stars, which Kevin already is. What it's doing nice. is it's promoting the sport of paintball, guys. You know, always look at the bigger picture. And that's that's where you want to get involved. You know, when I did my show back in the day, I got so much crap off it. Oh, man, you're trying to do this, trying to do this. But, you know, no matter what I tried to do, I reached millions of people that didn't play paintball before. And after they watched the show, I got calls from all kinds of people that own fields across the U.S. going, oh, God, Freddie, I'm just getting swamped, man. People coming out and trying it, a lot of newbies. That's what we're after. That's what everybody you're looking at on this screen right now is after, bringing well, more what, people into the sport. Happened? Isn't that what happened in Orlando when that with the field owner in Orlando, he was having issues? He called you up. He did a big game. And yes, I did. And yep. look what happened. Wow, that's a long time ago. Yeah, it, what Freddie's talking about is was a field owner in Orlando, uh, a great person um, that I actually shot one of my videos at. Uh, he was, uh, I'll just say that he, he, it was financial difficulty. I'll put it, put it that way. And what I did was he called me up and asked me if there's any way I could come down and do a big game and do some stuff with him to, to try to get him out of the hole. So I went down and did it. Man, we knocked it out of the park. But the point being is I did it for him because he was a nice guy. But on the other hand, I did it because I didn't want to feel going down, making paintball look like it's just disappearing a piece at a time. I wasn't into that. So right on, Freddie. Boy, that you know, you just made it worth having you on right there. That <laughs> oh, was pretty thanks. damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> Have yourself I'll a you, I, miss, I miss you, buddy. Yeah, there I you miss, go. Freddie knows I, I love the guy. Gosh. I miss you, yeah. buddy. I really do. Yeah. I, I'm, wondering, oh. I'm, wondering, I'm wondering how Sherry doesn't kill you in your sleep. 
I, I, I know that because I stay awake all night. <laughs> That's right. So I tell everybody, my mom didn't raise no fool. <laughs> she left when I was two. No. Uh, but anyhow, you know. That's my <laughs> I, I used to love it when Freddie would sit alongside me and I go, hey, what do you think, Freddie? <laughs> you know, and Freddie would come back right away with a good one. I'm Freddie. Yeah, those are the good old days. Yes, it was, Freddie. <laughs> I love the guy. Now I'd probably prop him up. Uh, I would sit on the floor and we'd put him on a chair and everything worked out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Alvarez just said hi to you, too. Hi, Kathy. Sherry says hi to you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I kid around with Freddie and Freddie kids around with me. But, you know, on a serious note, I would not be doing any of this, period, if it wasn't for Freddie Valente. Freddie, uh, um, Kiko, Kiko got me into the sport, but Freddie Valente is the one that got me into doing all of this. And I will be forever, ever eternally grateful for, for what he's done, uh, helping me get this going, and and when I have a snag, helping me keep it going. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to stop teasing him. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop teasing him. Yeah. Oh, you're breaking up, aren't you? You, you, you know what? Next time you have a technical difficulty, I'll just send you a, <laughs> you a bag of Cheetos. I'll well, you know that'd be just off. as that's just as good. <laughs> I'll take that too. <laughs> I got a whole box of them. <laughs> well, you know what, Freddie. <laughs> It's been great having you on, buddy. And, right on. Uh, you know, if you guys haven't watched this video, The Women of Paintball, damn it, get on there and watch that damn thing. It is absolutely great. I, and, shared, I shared it to Flagpole, so it's on your yeah, page. I, I know. I watched it a little bit before it came on in Flagpole. Oh, okay. Right yeah, on. Yeah. And you're not dealing with the organ grinder's monkey here, you know, just because I stand on the <laughs> corner with a tin cup. <laughs> you know, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you swing from some trees earlier. Yeah. There's a video on YouTube. I knew you were watching. I knew it. Yeah, I'm the one person. Yeah. yeah. All right, Freddie. You have a good evening, partner. You too, brother. You Take stay safe. Yep. All right, everybody. That was Mr. <laughs> Freddie Valente, a.k.a. Freddie the Ref, a.k.a. Florida Freddie, a.k.a. the Cheeto Man. And uh, <laughs> he is just an absolutely terrific guy. And he does a lot for paintball. I want everybody to take note. You know, what he did to women of paintball is an absolutely great video. Now, I'm sure a million people have thought about it, but how many people have done it? You know, and the same thing with Kevin, you know, how many people thought about having their team go out there and, and you know, be televised and put it out there and stuff? Probably a million people thought about it. How many people got her done? Kevin. Well, I guess me too. Me and Kevin both done. Okay, <laughs> Kevin and I together. So I'll share it with Kevin because I love Kevin. He's a good guy. <laughs> okay. And the only thing that makes me mad is he's got a bear and I don't. <laughs> but it is what it is. And Brad, yeah, <laughs> Brad, I appreciate very much you coming on tonight and pushing your products. Now, this isn't the last time I'm going to have Brad on because I, um, Brad knows I support him. Yeah, There's no guesswork there. And I, I've supported him for quite a while. I supported the show when he had paintball therapy, um, he tried to give me therapy and the poor guy almost went nuts. He had to go see a psychiatrist himself. So we quit that, but now he's into to getting other companies into the sport of paintball. And that's what, that's what we need guys. You know, I'm, I, this show is trying to bring people together to work, to build a sport. Okay. Not just to get together, to sit and shoot the crap all the time and, and have a good time, which we do. I love it. I absolutely love it. But we need to have the alternative motive, and that is build the sport of paintball. And that's exactly what Brad's doing by going outside, I'll say outside the bubble, okay? He's going outside the bubble to make the bubble bigger. And and I just think it's great, Brad. I I, uh, I commend you, Pill. I really do. So I am going to let you have a chance to say good evening to everybody here. Well, I just, uh, again, I want to thank, well... First of all, um, I would like to thank Cody Makowski um, and uh, Travis Lemansky in the infamous family, um, Steve Jamraz, everybody uh, from the infamous family who welcomed me in. Um, it's, it's a family, um, definitely. 
beyond that, uh, I started um, my team back up. I've, I've had a team basically where it was just friends that would get together. Um, regardless of what teams they were on, if they had a free weekend and everybody, hey, let's go over here and play that. So uh, we used the henchman name because just that's what we were. We were just, you know, a bunch of guys out there trying to do uh, what we could. And uh, so I started the team and now we're just bringing it full circle, trying to share my knowledge with players, uh, other coaches, other organizations, um, trying to get out of industry companies involved in paintball, involved in the video games, involved in all of the aspects which will push the sport where we where, where we all want it to be. Farther down the road, absolutely right. So, well, you know, I'm behind you, buddy. Um, yes, sir. That's, that's, that's why you're on the show. Uh, great job and uh, great job tonight. And looking forward to having you back on again, Brad. Anytime. Keep, yeah. Keep me informed on, on how you're doing with things. Uh, give me that damn waffle. And I was uh, say, I was <laughs> keep me informed as to when you set up the waffle. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to put it that way, but now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> just just Hello. text me, Fred. Fred, you have my number. Just text me your address and I'll send them right to you. I, I just I I literally I was just I was just messing with you, but I, I absolutely do want to try it. 2051 yeah. West Farm <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. You too, Bill. I, I have enough. I have enough. Um but yes, I do you I have, do you have the giant size for Bill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right on. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming on tonight, Brad, and I'm going to have you on again. But uh, keep me informed so I can tell everybody each week exactly how it's going. Then in a couple of weeks, we'll have you back, and you can tell us directly how it's going. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much for being on tonight, buddy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yep. See you, Brad. Uh, whoop. He's gone. All right, that was Mr. Brad Gruitt. Um, terrific guy. Uh, he He's working really, really hard to bring uh, – outside people into the sport of paintball. And that's why I want to give him a hand. Uh, Brad's, uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um, I just can't, can't say enough about what he's trying to do. You know, I've tried to do this and I've done it before in the past. And I got to tell you, it's not as easy as everybody thinks. You know, you just don't call somebody up and go, hey, I'm special. You know, I want your product, you know. So he's working pretty damn hard for it. <laughs> yeah, huh, Billy? Yeah, I, I definitely I want to try some of them wafers, waffles, and a, and a, and the hex. That's yeah. pretty we, interesting. I want to message them and get the information because you know I, yeah, I'll, you know I'll buy it waffle. just to try. It. Yeah, the waffles have really got my attention. You know, um, because yeah. it'd be like an energy booster, and it's small enough to keep in your pack oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm very yeah. very interested. Honey, in last whatever. Yeah. If, if it's got the characteristics of honey, it lasts forever. You know, you can yep. throw it in your go bag and yeah, you know, yep. and you're I out on the honey, field. So. You want to pick me up? Oh, yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. Hey, Jeff Thompson just yep, said so. another entertaining show. So, see, Bill, we're entertaining. I love it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell, I wish I could get you on a little more tonight, but I, I definitely appreciate you being on here tonight, buddy. That's okay. I had a good time. Yep. Yeah, it, it's an experience, huh? Yeah, he he got another beef stick, so he's he's happy. He yeah. let me half of it. Yeah, yeah. Hold him yeah. now. I, you know, I seen his little hand trying to reach up and pull it down back from you too. Fighting over it. Bill's over there munching it's on it. He goes, "Hey, you want you want a beef stick?" Yeah. yeah, hell goes yeah. He gives him the other half and opens a new one himself. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got to Oh, Bill, I don't have you speechless. That can't happen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, when you and you and Kevin come down to Tim's, we've got to get time off so that we can go up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, when I know I'm going there, I will definitely get a hold of you because I would definitely want you guys to uh, you to be down there. Awesome. That would be nothing short of outstanding. I would love it. Yep. So. Cool. All right, Bill. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy, I think it's time to close her out here. Heck yeah. So, I, I, you know, Bill, 
I don't have to thank you for being on because you're on every week with me. Yep. But I do, I do appreciate it. But I will thank Hell. Hell, yep. what, what you've done, you know, uh, for Tracy and what you've done to help support our our endeavor to help Tracy, I think is just outstanding. And um, I can never say enough good things about you, what you've done, buddy. Yep. I, I just try to help people who need help. Well, you did. And, you know, Tracy... Tracy chimed in earlier and said uh, she just can't thank you enough. And, uh, you know, who really can't thank you enough is not just Bill and I, but the entire paintball community. Because what you showed people out there is we can all work together as a unit, as we should work together as a unit to make the sport even yes. bigger. Period. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, you guys yeah. have a good evening. Yep. Stay yes. safe. Will do. It's okay. That was Mr. William Bailey and his buddy, Hell. Uh, Hell is the one that bought the marker and everything in the auction for Tracy Perez and stuff like that. So, you know, I got to tell you, this has been a hell of a show, guys. Um, I really have. And my wife bought me a little pie with a bite out of it. <laughs> I can't win for losing sometimes. One more time, I got to show you this fabulous, fabulous autococker that Mr. Bud Orr gave me and Bud Orr signed for me too. Um, you know, there's not enough words what I can say about Bud Orr. He's, uh, he's just been a, uh, an absolutely great friend for a long time. And all of you out there that, that have watched the show tonight, um, it has been just absolutely terrific. Uh, Again, I can't thank you enough for chiming in. You guys, uh, hey, George, George Contreras, good man. You guys all, all chime in and you watch the show, and I appreciate it so very much. We, I hope it's a little bit entertaining for you because, you know, that's that's kind of what uh, what Bill and I are after is, you know, to to get a little little chuckle from you guys and, uh, you know, and learn some more stuff about people, you know, like Brad showed you what he's got going on, you know, so now maybe, you know, you can pass the word around and, you know, the more people that want to get a hold of the products that Brad's pushing, um, it'll make the companies want to get involved more and it'll, it'll make Brad look even better. And, you know, once you start looking a little better, more companies want to talk to you. And then we just kind of, it, it's like riding the wave. You know, that's how I got into this whole thing in paintball years ago is I tried to do some nice things for Ronald McDonald House. And next thing I know, I was on the board riding the wave and the wave just got huge. And that's how I kind of got where I am right now. So I want to thank all of you out there for watching me tonight. Um, I look forward uh, to having you guys on. Remember, I have some upcoming shows. We're going to have the National Paintball Police Association along with Mr. Andy Sturette from the Alley Remember, Remember Foundation. And I am going to have the Booney Boys back on here in a few weeks. Um, that's always a kick in the butt show. These The Booney Boys are just such a terrific bunch of guys. I, you know, I, I can't even mention all of them. They're just absolutely great. And they make such a great show. So everybody out there... Um, I, I know you see my new push goggles. I love them. They are absolutely terrific. Um, you know, if you're looking to get a, a set of goggles that's a, a kick butt pair of goggles, go push. Push. Push, push, as I tell Tracy. So, all right, everybody out there, uh, I want to thank you again so much for chiming in tonight. Uh, and remember, next week, 7 o'clock Pacific time, we'll be back with the same kind of schmeal. Uh, hope you're interested enough to check us out and watch us. And Mr. Andrew R. Tedford. Well, I hope I said that right, Andrew. Hope I didn't blow it. And uh, Andy Sturett. Andy, we're going to have Andy on here in a few weeks along with the Police Association. I think that's going to be a hell of a show. You're going to want to jump in and check that out. Uh, George Contreras, well, you guys are just jumping in here. I love you guys. You, you're, you're terrific. I really mean that. So till next Tuesday at 7 o'clock Pacific time, from myself, from Mr. William Bailey, from all my guests, and from all the people that watch the show, I, I absolutely love you. But play hard, play safe, play fair. But, man, get out there and play some paintball, huh? All right. Bye now.